Still you can't be fed up the left and the right what is going on guys, Son of Beast here, and this is another NBA Playoffs. Sixers back with the Indiana Pacers at Indiana. So far Indiana has won game three, but only the Sixers won game two, won two games in a row in Philadelphia. But they are trying to figure it out if they can go for another win. So this time, the uniforms are in. Let's find out here at Banker's Life Fieldhouse. It's a lot of solid competitions right here. Everybody else has been looking out here so far. We were going over some uh, stuff and information about the uh, about each players that are getting some uh, COVID-19 problems. Uh, just making sure that everybody is staying safe um, inside of the house. We're not sure. It is May already. I would like to say happy birthday to all the May peoples out here who celebrate uh, the May or are born. But we're gonna have keep you guys keep you healthy and make sure you guys are still st still washing your hands. Make sure you practice your social distancing and and make sure you clean something off. It comes if the virus gets into you. The beautiful nighttime at Indiana is out right now. Game four, we're ready to go. This is going to be the best time that was happening before. We're joining us right now. We've got a bunch of bunch of uh, games, and here's David on the sideline. Paul George, many around the league expected a total rebuild. Instead, Indiana has been a consistent playoff team. They don't have so-called big names on this roster. But they do have veterans who stayed humble, who bought in completely, and come to play every night. And with young talent that's still on the rise, there's reason for optimism going forward in Indiana. Kevin? Thank you, David. And now we're ready to start the fourth game. So, for right now, Easter Conference standings, Indiana putting up the lead, but Philadelphia saying they're going to put a stumble on the road. So, at that time, all the teams are ready to get going here, and the key matchup is Ben Simmons and McCollum Brogdon. And for the center we have is Miles Turner and Joel Embiid in the center line of the key matchup, showing here what the mercy is. I'm not even showing what to stop here, but this this might be a better tough uh, situation that's going on. Mc, Mc, McClellan and, and uh, Brett Brown. All ready to go, and Philly wins the tip-off. Horford passes to Harris. He passes up by Simmons. Horford back to Simmons. Horford taking the three. Look! The rebound by Brockton is good. Is pulling up the point back up in. First miss for Al Horford and Oladipo. Here's Harris. Horford right in the paint, guarded by Sabonis. Now here's Simmons. Victor Oladipo on it. Simmons right up in the wing. Foul calls on Victor Oladipo, his first personal foul, number four. So Ben Simmons going for some uh, big and contested shot, but most games are not even concerning about his uh, shooting shooting accuracy. Well, he has the court showing you from the, uh, from the cut in from the paint. And when Ben Simmons keeps trying again, he'll learn it again. Ben Simmons shooting at the line for two. The first free throw is good. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. So we know uh, numbers at that time. Great start, and he's only continued. Here's one good. shot. And so he hits Ben Simmons hits two free throws, and that puts up by two points. When you look at the here's the here's are the commentators: Greg Anthony, Kevin Harlan, and Doris Burke. Has the best record. That's the first thing you look at. And what is Victor Oladipo coming out of the way? Only about that, right? You have to consider Oladipo with the drive. Nice shot here for Oladipo. He's finally got two. Six minutes to go. Simmons kicks off to Richardson. Richardson finds Horford. 
Or very fast as Simmons. With up the drive. A nice touch on the offensive board. Showing some tremendous pass by Al Horford. Showing him what he's got. Ben Simmons got four points. Now here's Brogdon. He's guarded by Simmons. Block the pass. And B took it away. And B passed to Horford. And B with the shot. Makes the two. And B's got two points. That's the first two of the night. Now Oladipo, he's only first got a two-pointer in the game so far. And with the steal comes up by Horford. Hey, Simmons with the dunk. Great pass by MB. Nice. Uh, nice how the block this comes up here and turn it out of the way. Indiana Pacers are not definitely doing really well enough here. But the Sixers are strong. And they are putting to unite. That happened in a lost game after a loss. Comes up with 114 to 100. 111 against Boston. This was not happening really well again. TJ Warren misses three. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. This game that happened coming after a loss against the Pistons. This was definitely quite too much at one time and not putting up too much pace here. A jump move and a miss here by Simmons as, assist, as the first rebound comes up by McComb. And it's Horford picking him up. Warren Brogdon. 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 Again, Simmons. To the paint. Pass the block. Nice right over to Oladipo. Oladipo shot missing. Right and taken away by Brogdon. Here's Brogdon. Screen on Turner. They want to put it back in. Brogdon finds Turner. He kicks to Warren. Brogdon Warren to Brogdon. Four to shoot. How to get it? Off the mark. Off the mark here for Sabonis, and that's a first miss. To start this game, just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Passes to Harris. Harris to Richardson. Right over to MB. It is good. Lefty is good. MB's got four points. Timeout called by Indiana. Their first, first, their first timeout. 3.20 left. 10 to 2. What a great moment to start the first quarter. Here are new changes for the NBA as we're taking a look at the league leaders. As Miles Turner, he never have, haven't had a chance to play at that time. But, it, but his shot block career was 2.2. I'm definitely seeing what they are looking for right now. And that Joella B having some quite tough time here. Once they're looking at the uh, what this block this is out, they're really working it really hard. We've gone down to 320 left. Brad, what are you doing? Are you serious, man? Serious is like he's saying, what is this rep guy doing? Oh, maybe because the game was froze. I don't know what's going on right now, but it looks like there's something wrong with the, uh, wrong with something else here. They're like fighting around and say, what is going on? Come on. We're going to have to wait for just a second. Both teams are timed out so far. It looks like uh, we're going to have to stop it from here. Something's going on because... Uh, I think the ref is taking too much time not picking up the pace here. But anyway, we're going to have to fix it a little bit. Here we go again. Take number two. All right, there we go. Here's Brogdon against Simmons. Simmons is saying, what happened with the ref? Why is he not Why is he not moving? He's just standing like a statue. I think that something got froze already. I think that's what happened. 
But anyway, here's Turner against Embiid. Finds Oladipo. The foul go on Richardson. That's first personal foul on Philadelphia. Victor Oladipo will shoot for two. He is off the line that, on the mark here in the paint. This one bumps it right into uh, right up to the chin of, a, of the lower jaw. Viewing what his player could look like, but this won't be. But that doesn't change the ability. Stop the clock at three minutes. Two shots. Now two shots for Oladipo. And then news changes for versus Philly and Pacers. That's good for the, That's good for the first free throw. And exceeding we have some free substitutions. Simmons, Richardson, and Tobias Harris comes out. Well, Robinson the third, five million Burks comes in. Robinson is a bonus. Checked out. McDermott and McConnell are checked to be a in. Threat no matter where you are on the floor. Oladipo delivers two, two points for the free throw line, line, and they are trailing by six. Oladipo Greg drew some comparisons to Dwayne Wade, but it was rival by Robinson the third game to the next level. Right over to MB. Over Turner. MB missing. Is expected. McConnell right outside as he never got his chance to try one. Oladipo running in from the court. Now they're trailing by four. Right now here's Burks. He, he, he was covered here since the last time he did play with the Indiana against Indiana back in three games. Glenn Robinson the third is having 15 points after a loss against Detroit. It would have been nice to come back here and play with the Pistons, but Glenn Robinson would have been got would uh wasn't able to play with the Pistons anymore because he's now with the Detroit Pistons. Here's McConnell looking in as 76 or sorry. Six and a half points a game. Glenn Robinson the third has two points. We're down to two minutes to go. Oladipo outside covered by five ball. With a shot. And B with a number rebound. That's two rebounds after all depot miss. You can ill afford to give a guy like him. Rolling the ball around to MB into MB. MB pass to Burks. The outside. The outside. Ranging the shots good. Well, you gotta like the you gotta love that technique of what Alex Burke has got. This shot was not always uh not always uh putting too much stressful, but if the shot was really good. Old Depot grabbing the number miss here. And B grabs the number rebound. And B finds Burks. Back to MB. That keeps a sixer ball again alive out here. That's but, it, but, I, but my suggestion is Philly ball. He's been putting up about four points a game. Yes, this is his last time about that he played with the uh, the All Star game. But I'm just I'm just hoping this might be the only one that was played. Burks, no problem. That's a number two for uh, for Philly, and a great pass comes up by Horford. I mean, uh, five bells. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. McConnell finds Oladipo. Oladipo missing out. MB grabs the fourth rebound. going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. Nice drive for, for MB, and he's knocking him out of here. Coming in with a well balanced. What a nice, uh, what a nice move here for MB, and he's pulling up some great shots that he has. Defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's my 35 seconds to go. Passing from Oladipo. Oladipo finds Turner. And Turner kicks to Oladipo. Turner kicks to Oladipo. Just five to shoot. Five to shoot. Here's a shot. Turner. Oh, come on. That wasn't that fair. He didn't, he didn't grab that shot that time. They, it went way off. Eight seconds. Got to put the shot. And he kicks it one in. Finally has the point. Give Oladipo credit now. He has a knack for finishing with whatever the defense throws at him. And the over and the first quarter has come to an end. 18 to 8 is a score. Is your score from the uh, from the first quarter?
But we'll be right back with the second quarter right after this. It never occurred to me that I'd be shooting threes at this rate and doing some of the things that I'm doing, but um, it's just the way that the game has evolved. Evolving the game was not always a suggestion, but for Al Horford, he has to get there as, as he has. They're working really hard and they're struggling that time, but when we're calling on motion, this needs to be right. Jeremy Lamb with the score of the bucket as the second quarter has started. 4, 6.45 left to play here, under 7 minutes. Burks, case off to Scott, covered by McDermott. They were in position and just challenging shots. By Scott, on the move, and he has two. Good spin around effort here around the... Around McDermott. This one's blowing up some pace here for Scott. Starting off with the uh, second quarter, he's finally got a bucket. Aaron Holiday, whoa! Matanze! Matanze never seen that back pass going on. And they're just doing he's, to keep letting them he's lucky to have that back pass. A great assist by Holiday. Aaron Holiday. Got to say correct. If it's Drew Holiday, that has the break. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives it. It sure is. It sure is. After the block by Embiid, here's Scott. Scott to Embiid. Puts one up for 19. 19 foot's good for Embiid. Timeout called by Indiana. Their second timeout. And be pulling on a show that time. Only a first suggestion. Only the first rejection of the game. Indiana making some changes here. And we have his uh, Burks, Milton, and Cork Moss with the sub out. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Burks. And it's Harris, Cork Moss, and uh, Richardson. Right in the, uh, with the. Well, for right now, here's Drew Holiday. Outside Holiday. Taking too long. Oh, hit the rim, and he took too long. He forgot where his open players are. Richardson, right over to Cork Moss. Scott coming up with the screen. Shot went off. Aaron Holiday has his first personal foul. Wow. Well, I'm telling you what will happen. This was not a good start for Aaron Holiday to be back in in, in the court. But with that reverse pass, try to go with that layup that comes in. This wouldn't be this wouldn't be so special at all. But for right now, Cork Miles will be shooting that line for two. And I'm telling you, Sabonis is, uh, wasn't injured at all in Game 4, but, but totally in Game 3, it was the wrist that happened with the blister. But at that time, he still recovered and not hurt anyway. So Aaron Holiday is checked out, but Colin Brockton is checked in. One shot for Cork Moss. 4.49 left. Here's a shot. And it's good. Cork Boss delivers two points from the free throw line after the foul going on Aaron Holiday. Right now, here's Lamb. Drew Holiday with the three. They get it back. Nice D by MB. That's Matase losing the ball. Here's Harris. Harris uses the glass board to put up the layup right around. So that's so that puts up the lead by uh, 15 for the Sixers. Second quarter play with almost three minutes gone. Some tough offensive. Right now, uh, yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Drew Holiday made the three. Right now they're trailing by 11 for the Pacers. But Sixers lead by 11. They have a lot of conversions here by 15. Here's Embiid 
Four minutes left. From Indiana to leave the box. Exactly the Embiid. Player. Harris for three. Harris missing again. As Vitasse grabs up the rebound. Drew Holiday with another look. Nobody around, no good. And Drew Holiday missed the two uh, two out of three shots for a three point break. Richardson passes to Harris. With the shot, fadeaway jumper is good for uh, for Harris. Nice uh, nice point to step on move, and with the jump shot, and fadeaway. And uh, almost 320 left to go. Here's Richardson against Brogdon. Brogdon to pass to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday finds Lamb for three. And Philadelphia making another rebound that time. Jeremy Lamb didn't have that one in. Whoa! Scott with the smart move. With the Chris across one, two, go. How does he do that? That looks incredible. Brogdon with it. Brogdon with the ball. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Nothing on the scoreboard yet with an update for Indiana. Drew Holiday missed it for another three pointer. Didn't have the shot going in. Just an odd they only has three, but not enough to put up again. And B with a dunk. Getting it done on both what a shot made for uh, for Mike Scott and MB. A full time dunk contest. But we don't know if it's a dunk uh, contest, but they are looking forward to hear that. He passes up to Sabonis, pass to Brogdon. He passed by Drew Holiday, laying for three. And that's another miss for Indiana. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding. 14 rebounds for uh for India for Philadelphia, eight rebounds for Indiana. Richardson to Korkmaz. Here's Korkmaz. Korkmaz passes to Scott. Ooh, put it back in. Scott up. The shot's good for Scott, and there are extending the lead. Mike Scott at six, but in the pass by Korkmaz, that's got a first assist. Indiana will have to call a timeout here with about 146 to go. Not offensively uh, to put up this point, but this one might be a might be tough to look for each team. So anyway, I don't have any uh, rumor or choices to what to make, but uh, but it won't be happening until long. It might be all right, but it's uh, but it's quite okay to uh, to make sure what they're whirling up to. Richardson is checked out. Simmons is checked back in. 146 left. Here's the league leaders. Here's the small forward position of TJ Warren. It's only 52.5. With his uh, with his time effort ability, he didn't have that shot what he was looking for for TJ Warren. Oh, here we go. Oh, free. Mike Scott, Embiid, and Simmons. They're free dunk machines. Look at that. How does he do that? That's quite amazing. Brogdon back up again. Under a minute and a half to go. Pass by TJ Warren. Here's Brogdon with the three. Good! Buries it from outside. Brockens has his first free bucket of the night. That happened versus Philly this season in game threes. Simmons passed to Fiebel. Fiebel, Robinson, passes to Horford. We're down to under a minute to go. Six on the shot clock. Fiebel. Freed himself up, no good. Pacers trail by 18. They get a hand on it. They gain a hand by Brogdon. Here's Brogdon. Fadeaway jumper. Great work defensively by Horford. Great work defensively for Horford, and that one comes up with a heavy contested for for the Pacers. But McCall Brogdon. Horford passes to Fiebel. Fiebel passes to Robinson the third. 
Harris. Robinson, pass to Harris. Over Sabonis. Over Sabonis. And that's good. And the assist by Robinson. And that's now 60 seconds left. Harris. We're coming down and we're on our way. Oladipo gets five ball. Oladipo, guarded by Harris. Six seconds to go. Oladipo outside. Oladipo to Brogdon. Brogdon missed, and that's the end of the first half. 38 to 18 is your score. Only three dunk machines are pulling on the roll. But there are a lot of great shots that time. They're doing really well to get there. Now let's send over to the sideline by David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Coach, what is your impression of the first half? Brett Brown is the head coach for the Philly. And I thought we found a really good balance of posting and pace. That's what we've been talking about. And uh, I thought our defense, for the most part, was excellent. A good start. We'll see how they finish. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Brett Brown as a sixer coach. But for right now, we'll be back at the Bankers Life Fieldhouse in Indiana when we come back. It's the we are dialing in right now for the Bankers Life Fieldhouse and showing what the game was all responsible for by the three dunk machines, Mike Scott, Joel Embiid, and Ben Simmons. But let's check out what Joel Embiid has here. Since he's already a superstar player, he's been playing 10 points on the board with only six rebounds, and he found himself about three assists. When Joel Embiid goes on through here, he says, I always love being here. Love being here with my guys here with the Sixers. Not trading to the other team, it works really good. I really love staying with the Philadelphia. Brogdon against Simmons. Running out of time, finds Oladipo. Boom! Freeze! Good for Oladipo. He's not the only person that wants to shoot the three pointers, but he wants to put up the slam dunk contest. Simmons finds Harris. TJ Warren trying to put a cover on him. Middle is Horford. Shoots for over Sabonis. Horford with no luck. Brogdon shooting three. And it can, it's another rebound for Horford. And that's two rebounds for Horford. Simmons passed on Harris. Bridgerson. There is such a humble, authentic, Right through uh, Simmons. That I think sets the tone for the whole team. Inside leader. Inside lead. Driving the rebound by Horford. Harris inside. He's covered by Warren. Setback. Three. From Simmons. Three from Simmons. It's no good. Old Depot grabs and the rebound. Leader Al Horford, a calm, quiet locker room presence, Doris, but his words carry a lot. He passed up to Brogdon. No doubt, Kevin. Why? Because he's always team first. Because he plays the game. Brogdon passes the Saponis. He passes up to Old Depot. Four seconds to go. Turner trying to free himself up. Nice deep for Harris, and that puts a miss on Old Depot. Horford back pass to MB. MB pass to Horford. Horford against Old Depot. Horford keeps passes up to Simmons. The shot for Simmons is good with the reverse layup. That's three assists right now. Some terrific opportunities for Horford. Really made the most of Brogdon to Sabonis. Indiana again with another miss. Wide open. You wonder did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. MB MB passes up to Simmons. Screen on MB. Shoots from 12. Shooting for 12, off again. Great, uh, great pat, great rebound for Embiid. It's Richardson. Richardson up over, over a depot, Richardson. and Richardson grabs the two. Finally had a bucket in, and grabs it nice the third the quarter of two points. These guys need a Rockin against Simmons. Right well, simply stated, that's simply up to not Warren. enough effort, not enough attention to detail. They've got here's a shot. And, and a shot by that is good. No good. Rebound's got 22 for Sixers, and Indiana with 11. How does that usually happen? Simmons passed to Horford. Horford riling over a beat. 
And he falls it in. Timeout called by Indiana. Stop the clock at 3.40 left. And they're pulling on the road. Working hard to trade. And a substitution for the Sixers and the Pacers as they're going for a different switch. And Alec Burks is up in for Josh Richards. Now here's Lamb. He only has some shooting ability that puts up a three, but not able to put it up that well. Drew Holiday, pass to Lamb. Baseline, Batatze. Fades, fades it away, and there's a two pointer for Batatze. Passing up his own shot, looking very good. Here's Simmons. As the Sixers lead by 21. Simmons feeling it out. Passed up by Burks. Burks passes to Milton. He passes up to Burks. Over McCall, over Lamb is good. It's not Brogdon. Lamb, number 26. Great jump shot for Burks, and that's number two for uh, for Alex Burke. He has six points in the game. And now we have is Aaron Holiday. Pass to Turner, rolling over to Drew Holiday. Back to Turner. Drew Holiday to Turner. Turner finds Aaron Holiday. The three offline. Batase with a rebound. They're picking up the second shooter that time. They're looking over to pick up the head. Sixers are going in the other way. Simmons passed to Milton. He went out of bounds. Milton puts it up. The first turnover for the Sixers. Indiana Pacers comes up with the ball. Here's Alex Burke showing here by 87.0. But there is a Gordon say from the two guard ranks, but even so, uh, they shouldn't take away from there it goes. The uh, I, I don't know because yeah, I, I just so can't figure out where it is. No doubt about that. That and shot for, uh, for Drew Holiday is no good for the three. Pass up by Scott. You can be sure he's going well, to the alone. Uh, never miss as Scott couldn't find another shot. Holiday, the pass to Lamb. And their shot for Turner is good. Making, they got they got to make sure they got to let them score that time. 145 left to go. Here's Simmons. Pass up by Milton. To the left is Scott. Outside, Scott. Right around Batatse. Fade away jumper is good for Scott. As he's got eight points. In the first and second half. Indiana trying to look for another shot that time. But they're working really hard. Drew Holiday passes to Turner. Passed up by Lamb. Lamb shot. Lost the shot. Then save it back in. To the inside. Great pass. Oh! Drew Holiday looking up. Saying, not this time. Saying, not so fast. But Todd say without again with the save. Now here's Simmons. He's got ten. Now here's now here's Simmons. Passes Orford. Orford, the foul goes on Aaron Holiday. His second personal foul. And we have some new changes here. All three players are subbed in. All three sub players out. Five below Glenn Robinson, the Fernand Court Files checked in. Holiday Lamb, Batanze, and Turner. Dante McDermott Holiday and TJ McConnell checked in as, there, as over two players switch into the guarding position. Back to Robinson. Robinson passes up by Horford. The shot. Good shot by Horford and finally gets two points. They are leading by 21. From that area. So far. Right down there, right down on side is McConnell. And here's McConnell. 15 seconds. So Holiday shoots the three, and that's good. Another three-point conversion is good for uh, Aaron Holiday, Ben Drew Holiday. Here's Simmons. Six seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Here's Simmons for three. And it goes in. Buzz beater made for Simmons. What a shot. Yeah, it goes in.
He loves the buzz beater, but this won't be happening that long, but uh, but the shot won't be coming up so easy. I know there's a lot of buzz beaters around here, but this wasn't happening all again. 53 to 42 is your score. We'll be back. Now it's time to check out the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Here's a look for, uh, for Ben Simmons. When you are looking for a call to uh, look open rebound, he was going all over the court. But some of these shot efforts are not pulling up the same idea. But when you come up with that, Layup, you get the idea from other players that everybody was looking two for. Different performances two different performances here that time, and now we're ready to start the fourth quarter. Kirk Boss handles it right over to Horace Harris. Harris, Kirk Boss, right over to Horford. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Right around Sabonis. Horford will no longer take the shot that time as Sabonis hits the head, hits the ball. And what Warren passed to Oladipo, excuse me, Oladipo, McConnell against Feibel, right now here's Oladipo, goes in, doesn't get that shot for Oladipo, long pass, Harris, reverse layup is good, Harris got it again, I love, I love that long pass, it looks very good when, when you see that shot. And with the reverse layup, not a problem. 6-10 left. 55 to 32 is your score. Bola Depot right outside. Bola Depot outside. Bola finds Sabonis. Sabonis missed the three. And McDermott will take the two. He's working on that interior game because he has size and touch. The 76ers leading by 21. Now the Sixers are leading by 21 again. Right around is Feibel. Feibel takes the two. Finally gets the point. Now they're losing the, now they're losing the uh, trailer. Trailing for the Pacers. Sixers lead by 23. Chance of a comeback and nice finish by him. Oladipo against Feibel. Oladipo didn't never got a shot at that before. Rejection by Harris. Rejected by Harris. Feibel to Harris. Finds Robinson the third. The three off the mark for Robinson the third. This is going on here. One to four shot with a breeding point shooting. McDermott, McConnell to McDermott. McDermott trying to look for an open man. He kicks up to Warren. Looking for a shot. Sabonis with the drive and the dunk. What amazing shot performance for Sabonis and finally gets a point. 76ers have gone two of four from the field. Two of the four on the field goal so far. Not picking up some speed here, but they're just trying to show what the to show who the boss that is by changing the uh, by changing the direction. Harris to Corkmas. Corkmas to Feibel. Three seconds. Drive. Missed as McDermott grabs the number rebound. Well, Deepa never got a shot, but he was saying before, maybe the shots won't be, at, won't be hard enough. If I have my uh, three pointer or two, I don't care if uh, if I if it makes it in or uh, or misses a shot because somebody needs to get a grab. Some, somebody needs to ask to grab the rebound without wasting the time, and then that will be the uh, answer to call for the uh, for a rebound. Final Corbis. Got yeah, drills in from outside, and that's a three pointer for Cork Boss. This is by Five Five points for Cork Boss. And so it's McConnell with it. Here's McConnell. The Indiana Pacers. McConnell passes to Oladipo. Master Warren. Master Warren to three. Six to triple. Warren has the first three pointer of the night. With the triple, they're shooting a lot more of them than they did. They're calling out for TJ Warren, but this one, this wasn't happening before. Here's Corbaz past the Fiebel. Screen on Horford. Here's Fiebel. Another one sent back here as Fiebel grabs it again. Four points, three assists. 
Under three minutes is McConnell. That's the old depot. Well, Adebo passes to McConnell. That's the offensive three second violation that turned it over into Philadelphia ball. Five substitutions are subbing out. And B and Richardson comes in to what? The subs back in. Simmons passes to Harris. Bounce pass to Richardson. Richardson bounce pass to MB. Right around it. The block by Sabonis and rejected out of here. Simmons got a little bit of an unlucky here. Warren with the dunk. 2.15 left. We're running out of time here so far. I don't know what will happen here, but this is going to be so, so hard to beat the Sixers. Richardson kicks to Harris. Two minutes in the fourth quarter. Harris to Richardson. He passes up by Simmons. Over Brogdon. And as Simmons picks up the two-pointer. And that's 15 points. That's for ben 15 Simmons. points for Simmons. Four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting it. Brogdon passes to Turner, right over to Warren. Warren against Simmons. Wait a minute, who's guarding on uh, Warren? Somebody has to guard on Warren. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Brogdon for three. Again, they put up a three-pointer. We're losing the man to man guard here. Timeout will call in by Philadelphia. We're losing some man to man defense. I'm going to have to change this one up and then, and then we will get back into the game. Now let's present the Jordan player of the game. This one is out to MB, the, the block this. Showing his ability, what a shot was looking at, the dunk before, and with the pass, great shot before Brooks. And with that, MB has done it again. But, I'm, but uh, Ben Simmons is the offensive player of the game that was working really hard that time. Trying to get that pass really well, thanks to his... uh. Thanks to his dynamic duo of Joel and B, he will continue to play it again until next season. To everyone who watched it, Neto, pass to Scott. In a true show, Scott, right over to Robinson the third. The differential in assists led to a crossover. That's another point for Robinson the third. Great pass by Mike Scott. But they just couldn't. Robinson the third has grabbed four points. One fifteen left. There's Lamb. Neto is still out on the offense. It was a dazzling game for Joel and B. Lamb. Boy, this guy plays with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight. Neto. Lamb. Grabbing the rebound. Matanze. Almost lost his focus. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No bother. Here's Neto. To me, Greg, this is a right on in the other lane. Right Pass up by Oakwood. Leak out rather than box out. Pass up by Robinson the third. Oakwin, shot, shot over it, and Oakwin will grab the first two well points in the fourth corner. The killer instinct, Take killing it. instantly, better him. Your best for last. Well, I think Joel and beats a little bit more better than the Oakwin, but he's there's the Oakwin. That's what his name looks like. It Oakwin. I don't know why they call his last name Oakwin, but that's uh, percent silent. Silent, another silent end. Oakwin is a double is is a double end. And the last name. Defenders afraid. But, excuse me. Way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. I need to get through on that one. They I don't want to get caught by the uh, violation that time. Fifteen seconds left. Milton outside. Six on the shot clock. Six on the shot clock. The 76ers need and they don't need to get the shot that time since it comes out almost done. Shot clock violation. And one more switch here for Aaron Holiday. Summer is out. Lamb's out, sorry. And that's the end of a fourth game. Sixers takes the win. 68 to 46, and they are in the lead series, three to one.
over the Pacers. They're quickly trying to keep the pace here back again. This was not happening all of a sudden. They are having a loss of suggestion. David. Now let's head over to the first side for David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, we just, just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big win, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, David, thank you. We'd like to say thank you guys all for tuning in for the NBA playoffs. MB is the Jordan player of the game, and the offensive player of the game was Ben Simmons. We'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching of Game 4. We'll be back with Game 5, except for other teams that are moving on to the second round. Miami Heat and Dallas Mavericks. But the other games are not even countable if they're going to be the same thing. So for right now, we'll have to just wait and, and find out who goes to the second round to find the matchup between the Heat and the other play team. Or, the, from the Western Conference, Dallas Mavericks against the other winning team in the first round. We'll have to see about that. And with that being said... Thank you for so much for watching. Peace out, bitches. Right, until next time, as, in, as well as uh, NBA Playoff Dial. Peace.